This is not the same Kiki's delivery service you all know and love. For one thing, this wasn't done by Studio Ghibli. And don't go into this film expecting something like Miyazaki's film. Both movies were based on the same novel, so similar characters but each telling a very different story. The live action version starts similarly to the animated one. Kiki is a young witch leaving home to go make a living using her magic. After a confrontation at the local zoo, she sets up shop at a bakery as a delivery girl. From there, all sorts of things happen to her. She meets a singer who's lost the will to sing, had some run-ins with the local kids trying to steal her broom, and people start to ostracize her, saying she puts curses on her deliveries. Will Kiki be able to pull through and prove to everyone just what she's made of? The visual effects are, well, bad. At a time when we already had eight Harry Potter films, the broom flying just looks like Kiki is sitting in front of a blue screen. A number of things are done in CG, and boy is it noticeable. Not only is Gigi done in CG, but also a baby hippo that becomes a central plot point. Yeah, you remember how the Zeppelin was the big climax of the animated film? How they built it up all the way to a satisfying ending? Well, in this film we have a sick baby hippo. Spoiler if you care, but the climax of this film... is Kiki flying through a tsunami carrying not only a baby hippo that can weigh upwards to 110 pounds, but also Tombo. Magic or not, this is a little far-fetched. Oh, and remember how I mentioned a singer earlier? <laughs> well, when she hears that Kiki is out in the storm, and when all hope seems lost, she rushes out there and starts singing. And Kiki can hear her, and she pulls through the storm, making it to deliver the hippo to the veterinarian. <laughs> I laughed my ass off when I saw this scene, because it's one of the goofiest, corniest things I've ever seen in a movie. It felt like the singer was tacked onto the movie for promotional reasons. Buy her CD today, type of thing. You could have taken her out and it wouldn't have affected the movie much. The ending, besides that hilarious climax, is one of the most nonsensical and confusing. Spoiler again, they take the hippo to this veterinarian, and what is his professional treatment for this animal? He ties a freaking watch to its tail and says that the hippo had disorientation with her body and soul. I don't care if that ties into the theme. That is just silly! But okay, I've been ranting about this film for a while. What are some good things I can say about it? Well, I uh, like the flashbacks Kiki has with her mother. And despite Tombo in this film being a real jerk at first, I like the talk he has with Kiki and him teaching her to ride a bike. I thought it was well done and very cute. And I also like the concept of Kiki being ostracized because of a rumor, and because of her magic and the mistrust. It really adds to her character in having to confront and trying to overcome this conflict. But other than that, if you are truly curious about this film, you can try it out, but as for me, seeing it once was enough. <laughs>